for you. <clears throat> so you have to speak up. Why? Because you got a nice new microphone up there. I have to speak up because you got a cheaper and don't, and microphone. Don't look at the camera. Just look up there. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> you know, the old microphones work great. This you know, is a good work, microphone. Well, I know, but I have to speak up. <laughs> well, you guys are, and I have kind of a soft yeah, voice, yeah. you know. Oh yeah, right. Everybody's worried about that. Not me. So, welcome to the uh, what is this? July 2012. It's July 2012. Okay, so last night I was in a conference. I was the panelist on social networking here in Monrovia. Wow, I could fall asleep just hearing about it. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm driving home, and I thought I'd stop and get a drink. Yeah. And uh, so I did, and uh, somebody snapped the shot of me, you know, while I was sitting at the bar. So I don't know if you recognize this, or not, but it's Mr. Martini's. Yes, yes. In, <laughs> in, in um, uh, It's a Wonderful Life. It is? Yeah. How about this shot? Were you, am I in this one? Yeah, <laughs> he actually he actually pulls a Peter Sellers there. He's all three people. That's right. Anyway, so we got some wines lined up for you today, and some really fun stuff. Actually, I'm really excited about these the selections this month. They, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. You never did because everything you know, else there's a shortage. You know, there's been short crops. I am getting more wine at better prices than I've ever gotten. Okay. Seriously, at any point in time in the history I, I of this think, company. I, I think that's wonderful for Even you. Even before I, when you were at PB Liquor. I feel really, really good about that. I could know. you uh, open Could you pour the so wine? Starting with this, uh, now we got this painted, we were talking about Grenache Blanc and we had a couple of great ones from France, right? We got some great ones from everywhere. I, I don't think domestic, you can screw this grape up. Here's a domestic one. Oh, it's fabulous. From our friends at Painted Van. I just love the wine. It's, it was just taken out of the tank like a week ago, so it's a little soft. And, I mean, it's a little rough on the edges today, but... It, the fruit will pop up. There's the next something week. about this grape, grape that just is so engaging. It just kind of, I mean, it's just got so many wonderful little things going on, you know? And I don't care where it comes from. We've had it from Spain, we've had it that from different really parts good. of California. Forget what I said about it. It's, it's already, the fruits come back already. I'm sure they already have. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. This is from Paso Robles. Absolutely delicious. You just, you're still just getting that, that peachy. Nectarine sort mm -hmm. of fruit component with great acidity, wonderful uh, lime grapefruit yes, notes. You know, there's just, a little citrus in there. You know, but it, nothing's overdone. No. It's just so beautifully balanced. It's kind of like a Sauvignon Blanc, but it's got some uh, uh, <laughs> Shannon. It's got Marsan in there. Marsan. I mean, yeah, you could just, you know, that's that's the thing about really good wine, and and you know, really good wine at yeah. six ninety nine on the reorder, twelve ninety nine re regular that's price. Joke. That's incredible. I mean, that is really hilarious. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm, 94. I'm 95 on that. I think that is absolutely right, out yeah, of this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the next wine, Congress Cream Strings. Okay. String Petit Sirah. You know, we've had such great Very luck nice. with the Congress Springs wines. Does that say, oh, that says load, I'm saying. Is that, let's say, 2001? And, uh, you know, we did their uh, Pinot Noir on an email special, which is a great, great value. And while I tasted the Pinot Noir, this Petit Sirah came up in the same tasting, and I said, I've got to feature one of these. There just wasn't enough Pinot Noir to feature, and Petit Sirah is such a fun grape. We've had such great success like with the Opelo Petit Sirah. This one, I love this because it's just... I, I, I don't care, because you know what this means? Oh, this means that my good buddy Dan Gares, who owns Congress Springs, didn't make any money on this sale, <laughs> okay? Because you can't grow Petit Sirah where he grows Petit Sirah and sell it to us. What? And we sell it for seven ninety nine on a reorder. Forget it. It ain't gonna happen. A little more. God, there's like licorice Wine and there's berries and there's blackberry. I mean, there's so much juice in here. I'm an idiot. Don't say. Uh, don't. Don't comment. You just said it all. Because this is a fifteen dollar wine. Fifteen. Try twenty two. Okay, I'll take it for twenty two. I mean, Petit Sirah I'll is tell you expensive now. I'll buy it for twenty two. You give me fourteen back. Petit Sirah is expensive now because there's not a lot of it. And the guys are making really great wine out of it. I mean, this is phenomenal for that kind of money. That is really good. Absolutely. I get like blackberries. I get like a little licorice tone. I and get spice. A lot of spice. spice, you know, which I really like. This but is a 95 for sure. Absolutely. I mean, it's a terrific bottle of wine. Mm. Amazing. Wow. This is really fun. I really like tasting wine with you, Ed. This is really great. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> Paul. I, my favorite thing too, actually. Uh, I'd say it's favorite. Um, now, this is, this is another. Is this, is this loca or yeah. polka? Loca. Okay, fine. So it's lowercase letters. It's loca. That's why it's as called in, loca. Lowercase. Crazy. No, as in crazy. That's loco. Mm. Feminine loco. 
Macabeo from Carina, Carina. Carina, yeah, you know, it, I first got introduced to this grape several years ago when we featured one, and I absolutely loved it. I mean, it was just a, again, a, a really bright, exciting. Um, Boy, these are really good. <laughs> fabulous. And it's different. This one's not as, it doesn't have as much depth in the middle, but it's got some wonderful uh, apricot peachy tones and then Ooh, a little wow. acid in the finish. Guava. Guayaba. Guava. Well, it's Spanish. Oh, guayaba. Okay. Guayaba is Spanish. You know, you're right. You know, they make that uh, uh, guayaba soda. You ever had one of those? No, I missed that one. Oh, well, it tastes just like I didn't, I didn't, I haven't had a Kai Berry either. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm trying to save myself be, until I really need it mm -hmm. to, you know. What you, what you, uh, I, I'm, I, this is another 95. The wine's absolutely stunning. It's really good. It's just gorgeous. What's the vintage? It's 2010? 2011. No wonder it's good. Yeah. It's great. Really bright, you know, high end. I'm going to 94. Okay. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm parallel with it. It's different, but the same. I'm at a 94. I'm at a 94, too. Right. Or am, and am I a 92.4? No. I'm actually at 937. Oh, okay, good. Hey, back to our friends at Kunza. Yeah, he's now, I don't like all their wines. They, they make quite a few wines. That they, when they bring them to me, it's like quite a row. But this one spoke to me in Spanish. Yeah, it's talking to Loca. me too. <laughs> and Carmenere. I mean, this is really... Carmenere is this wonderful grape. That, I love the nose of this. It's that Chilean herbs, and, and then there's this blackberry and blueberry flavors in, in the nose, but it's, mm, it starts wow. with that, that, that Chilean herbaceousness, which I love. This is really a full, full-bodied wine. By the way, that uh, Macabeo is only six ninety nine on the reorder, uh, twelve ninety nine regular. And this... Uh, this has got gripping acidity. It's going to last a long time. Well, right. it, has, it has almost... It's really interesting. You know, it has that... Um, very Bordeaux-like mm -hmm. component, and I'm, you know, like, I, mm -hmm. I want to say You're right on. San Julian, you know, it's got a little bit of that cigar, You're right but on a really good cigar. And it was used in Bordeaux for many years. Well, yeah, they thought it was Merlot, you know, because they, until they looked under its dress and went, oh my God, you're not Merlot. This is uh, $13.99 on the shelf, if you can find it, and it's $7.99 on reorder, and what a great example. No, oh, I found it. Actually, Kunza, I've seen around in stores, and they're all like 10, 10 12 bucks, you know. <laughs> well, 12 13 but seven ninety nine. That's a killer wine. I would love to put this into a Bordeaux tasting and see how you many wines you'd geeks. freak someone out. You really would because you don't see Carmenere on the shelf. I mean, you may see the other Kunzes, but this one you're not going to see because I, I bought everything they had. <laughs> That's the way that goes. Well, and that and, you know, it's interesting. Now I'm getting this sort of licorice tobacco. Yeah, exactly. Just licorice tobacco and you know a little a little shy blackberry and blueberry. It's a killer bottle of wine for eight bucks. I mean, come on. Ninety four. 95, and, and that's our show for today. That was oh, July, July 2012. Thanks for coming. Not you, Ed. <sighs> Me neither. <laughs>